So the episode opens with Nene gone. Nene gone. They can't contact her. Portia got on the phone. At this point, do we really care? She been pushing down that screen since part one. So at this point, bye Nene. Cut her pay. Let the witch be gone. Nobody cares at this point. She definitely do not want to beat up a part three for the snake gate situation because the snake gate situation involves her and she ain't going to own up to that. So why are we talking about Nene and why are we talking about Portia dragging Kenya across the stage? It's like y'all finding stuff to talk about. Can we get to the good stuff, please, Andy? Nobody cares about Nene at this point. She was born part one. She was born part two. All we seen her doing was argue maybe once or twice. And then the next thing we noticed, she was closing the lid down on that screen. So why do we care so much, Andy? Like, can we move it along, please, sir? We don't got all night with this Nene mess. Like, Nene ain't here. Let's move on, Andy. Please move it alone sir do you really care for Cynthia um Kenya because you kind of shaded her this whole entire season let's be honest and let's be real here I don't care how many times you say oh well I wasn't trying to you know trying to ruin her engagement Candy told me so I kind of told her hint hint that you might be getting married or proposed to you kind of ruined that girl good moment Kenya I mean and I asked and how the camera played that you ruined that woman engagement ain't no ends nor buts about it. And as for you, Shay and um, Cynthia Business, yeah, that ain't a good friend right there. You, mm, you've been doing a whole lot of shady this season, King. Yeah, I will give you that. Minus your drama, you sure have been breaking the drama this season. So I'm not really buying that you weren't trying to ruin her engagement because that, that's what we got. I'm just saying that's what we got that you was trying, you was aiming. Because if Candy told you this, a real friend wouldn't say, hey, look, let me pull you to the side. Let me tell you this. You know you finna get proposed, right? Yeah, he finna propose to you right now. Yeah, this moment right here. He pretty great to do his speech. Like a real friend wouldn't do that. They'll be happy and cheering and kept it to themselves. King, you was trying to ruin that woman um, engagement. I, I, I like you, but... Let's call a spade a spade. You was trying to ruin that woman engagement. Like, come on, Kenya. You was doing it. You ain't for it. I don't know why you thought that was such a good idea to tell this woman that, look, your man for the propose to you on the day of the proposal at the event when he was getting ready to do the thing because he told Candy, look, I'm finna get ready to propose to her right now. I well, Candy is kind of your fault too, cause you kind of told the, you know, the big mouth for the group, and the big mouth kind of told the person that was getting proposed to. So if you want to take blame, it's both of y'all fault. Candy, you shouldn't have told Kenya, cause you know Kenya can't hold water, and Kenya shouldn't have told Cynthia, which ruined her engagement. But and. Overall, it worked out for the best, though. Um, Cynthia happy, I'm happy, I am guess. She's still born, but I'm happy for her. And Kenya, I'm sorry. You and Cynthia are not tight as y'all trying to be. Y'all both snitched on each other during the whole season. She kind of told on you, kind of involved involved you in something that wasn't part of you, like the cookie lady thing, which y'all talking about now. She wasn't really involved in that. You try to make it seem like Cynthia was plotting with you to take down Tanya, and that wasn't the case. Cynthia might be a lot of things, a follower, a snitch, um, a, um, a, um, pushover, but as for plotting for somebody else to get exposed on TV, that's a no for Cynthia. Like, y'all ain't really friends. Like, cut it out. Y'all ain't really friends. She shaded your wine business. Um, she tried to throw you under the bus about the cookie later thing, even though you even though you said you wasn't a part of that. But then you kind of told on her, Cynthia, by telling Tanya what was going on, what made Tanya clap back on Cynthia. So do I really think y'all ain't really friends? Like, come on. Like, y'all too 
appreciate it. Uh, you know what out of each other, and it's kind of hilarious watching it back now that y'all kind of call y'all self friends, but y'all was shading each other the whole entire season. Like, it really is hilarious to see y'all two go at it like this, even though y'all so-called called each other friends, but I highly doubt y'all are friends like that. But whatever, it's y'all friendship, not none of mine. And Cynthia, I got to pop your hand, too. Why would you invite somebody? Oh, you so pretty. Maybe you should come to the party. Maybe you should. Yeah, you too. You pretty. Come here. What's your name? What's your info? Cynthia. <laughs> okay. Like, Cynthia, because so, she pretty, that means she won't mess up your... Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Heck no, Cynthia, really? Oh, you so pretty. I can invite you to the party. So that's what Kenya was talking about. You talk about it was all me with the cookie lady, but you was trying to invite the cookie lady to your little wine opener. You know what? My head spinning. Both of y'all deserve each other at this point. Cynthia, you only must know this woman from a can of paint, but yet you inviting her to your party. Kenya, you was dead behind wrong for involving the cookie lady on this show trying to spray somebody else. You know, relationship. She call it a marriage, but relationship. And both of y'all deserve each other at this point because y'all both were shading each other. And Cynthia, you a ditz girl. You really are a ditzy girl. Like, for real, for real. Just because she pretty, you're going to invite her to your party. Oh, you could have known she could have been a murderer or slept with Mike Hill. Oh, you know. But she pretty, though. But she get to come to your party. Okay, Cynthia. Let's run with that. Cynthia, at this point, close your mouth. So you you thought as a as a key key, I was being playful, funny. Hey you cute, I wanna invite you to the party. You telling me this about ten years, so I'm gonna invite you to my party. Not the wine side wine cellar party, but to my party for you can confront Tanya yourself. There's no difference, uh, Cynthia. There's really no di difference. Like um, Candy said, that's even worse than what Kenya, Kenya did. So, your plan, Cynthia, Cynthia, cut it out. That doesn't make, it, it does not make any sense. You want to invite the same woman to your party to confront Tanya. What's the difference between the way Kenya did it and the way you talking about doing it, inviting, to your, inviting her to your party for she can mess up your party with her mess? Cynthia Hush. Just, just sit there and look pretty with your boobs out in Hush, Cynthia. At this point, Hush, girl, Hush. Cynthia, didn't I tell you to hush? How do you know I went going to call Tanya and warn her for him? How do you know that? It doesn't matter. It's still an ambush. It's still a setup. You setting that woman and putting that woman in a position she don't want to be on, I'm sure, in front of TV, just like they tried to warn you, what, season 10, about the man you thought you liked it that turned out to be the man you didn't like? Remember how they sought you up and pushed your head all the information? Cynthia, hush! You making it worse for yourself. Quiet! Be quiet, Cynthia! Hush! Sit there and look cute! Hush! Oh my gosh, she got an excuse for everything besides sitting there looking cute. Cynthia, you look bad either way. Hush! Here go Kenya, trying to defend that stuff in Greece with the wine stuff. Kenya, the best thing you can say with that situation is, I was wrong. Now I should have taken cues and realized that I was making her look. Don't be, Kenya, you're not running for president. Cut it out. You was dead all the way wrong. Is that your friend? You don't do your friend like that. The best thing you can do right now, Kenya, when it came to that question is, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done my friend like that. Um, besides this little presidential answer you're giving, like, I, I, me, I wouldn't do that. You, however, 
it's hard to say what you wouldn't and would do. So if I was you, I'd say I was wrong. And, and Cynthia, I apologize again for putting you on the spot like that. Didn't nobody like the way you was questioning Cynthia and Grease about that wine stuff. Wasn't nobody along with you. Didn't nobody think it was funny. Didn't nobody think it was hilarious. It might have been hilarious you watching it back looking at it. Or somebody that don't like Cynthia watching it. But as for us that like everybody on this show, you was kind of coming for her with a loaded gun ready to aim and shoot and fire at her face. So I, if I was you to, the, if I was you to reserve my friendship, this what you should do. You and Cynthia try hushing it up a few minutes. Try not to get not try not to give us a political political correct answer because it's never gonna come out the way you want it to come out. I'm just saying. Cynthia is a yes man. Kenya, you have came for Cynthia almost every season. Cut it out. You're lying again, Kenya. You have basically came for her. You basically have well, you have came for her. Cynthia only confronted you this time twice, as I remember, twice, I think, this season. So you do come for her. Yes, we do think Cynthia is a follower and a yes man. Well, I think Cynthia is a yes man and a follower. Cynthia does not have her own mind. Cynthia come off as a ditzy person, and she always going to be my ditzy, um, well, the beauty, well, the prettiest woman on this show, perhaps, though. She the most prettiest um, woman on this show, in my opinion, but she boring. I'm going to say that she boring. But as for beauty on the show, Cynthia bring it. But that brings the following. Um, a yes man. She don't have her own mind. She's a pushover. And Cynthia only confront somebody when she feel like you done pushed her down. Other than that, Cynthia sit there and take it and take it and take it. She's still taking it now from um from um Nene, but she still don't realize she in a um a physical uh uh well not physical uh uh a mental abuse relationship with Nene. I think that's what they call a, a physical, a mental abuse um relationship with uh, with um Nene. So that's how I feel about Cynthia. And yes, you do come for her, Cynthia. I mean, Kenya. Yes, you do. You come for her all the time. And basically, I say Cynthia and I want to say Portia. Are the um are the easy targets? I want to say that sometimes Nene, but other than that, Cynthia is a pushover for sure, a ultimate pushover. Nene has a good side to her. Cynthia Ware, Nene not an a hole. Cynthia Ware, Kenya the same. Where well we have seen Kenya soft the size. I, I I would guess I would give Kenya that. As for Nene, we have seen soft size of Nene, but you know Nene got to come out the real Nene got to come out the fake side of Nene got to come out and she always ruined those soft gushy moments with her. So I don't know what you're talking about, a hoes. But, yeah, you do kind of hang around those, including your best friend, Nene, that keep on throwing you under the bus every reunion. So, I don't know what you're talking about, Cynthia. You might want to try again, but you do hang around those types of people, including your best friend, Kenya. So... You might want to check that answer and, you know, say it another way because you do kind of hang around those types of people. So, Nene gone. She won't respect put on her name. Yovana fit to come out. She then posted an Instagram. Uh, I'm guessing Nene saw that. And her and Yovana are no, are no longer, you know what? Bye, Nene. You won't be missed. I hope you get fired. I'm just going to say that straight up. I heard some things that you might not be back season 13. I'm hoping that's true. Y'all can bring Yovana and put her in her place since Yovana for the set her straight. I'm guessing, they're, I'm, guessing no, um, I'm guessing they're no longer friends. So let Yovana go ahead and spill some tea. Even though it might be old tea, but let her go ahead and spill it anyways. I'm dying to hear the story. Andy, 
there's no fits in um, Kenya versus Nene. Really, there's none. Nene can't be honest. Nene can't help herself. Kenya over it, kind of, you know, dealt with her abuse. She tired of her abuse. She moved on away from her abuse. Nene want to, you know, try to make it work with Kenya just for, you know, filming. But Kenya won't give her no play, no action. So at this point, why are we talking about Kenya versus Nene? It, it, it didn't been overboard. It didn't been played out. They just don't like each other. I kind of like Kenya, Kenya and her stance when it comes to this whole situation because Nene only used people to use them. She was friends with Candy all the way through the season, not at the reunion. They arguing. They no longer friends. So, it's just a, you know, a common occurrence when it comes to Nene. Nene only use you for filming. Once the reunion comes, Nene say goodbye to you. You a dog, you a cat, you a mouse, you a rat or whatever, and she don't care. And till the show come back to filming, and she needs you to film with her again. So, why are we talking about Kenya versus Nene all over again? I don't get it. Help me understand that. Let's get the snake gate. I'm ready for snake gate. Like, for real, for real. I'm ready for it. Why is everybody defending Nene all of a sudden? It seems kind of odd to me. Nene was not coming for a good place in Greece when Kenya found out that Mark wanted a divorce or they was filing for a divorce. Nene was not coming for a good place. Nene should have understand in that instance, um, Kenya did not want to talk to her at that time. She should have left that alone and said, okay, fine, when you're ready to talk, let's talk. Besides getting mad because you want to talk now and she didn't, you go back to the, that's why your husband left you. That's why you're no good for your husband. That's why you're going to be all and alone by yourself. So how was Nene um um there for her again when she backtracked to the same stuff she was saying before the trip that this gonna be a good wake up call for her wake up and Andy shut up just shut up why don't you try being friends with Nene and see what you give her a chance. Kenya did the right thing, blocking that devil away from her phone, blocking that devil for any communications. She did the right thing, and I don't blame her. I'll block the devil, too. We might be on this show together, but I ain't filming with you, unless it's a group said. And other than that, devil, I ain't filming with you, and why should I film with you? I'm with Kenya on this one, and all y'all sitting up here defending Nene, you need to be kicked in the head. Amen, Kenya. Amen, Candy. Nene do not get a pass for Grease. Threaten to spit on, threaten, well, threaten to spit on um, Kenya or throw food at Kenya or pretending like she want to lunge at that woman. Because anybody else, Nene face would have got beat in. Besides getting her makeup beat, she would have got her face beat. Let's be honest and let's be real here. Nene has never lunged or any uh, any of that stuff at nobody else on this stage besides Kenya. Why is that? She think Kenya can't fight? And second of all, Kenya is a cop caller, so she trying to go to jail. That's my take on it. Why she why she decide to jump all bad at Kenya? She ain't never jumped bad at um Candy. She ain't never jumped bad at Marlo. She ain't never jumped bad at Portia. She well um Cynthia and her. I can't speak on that, but everybody else, um, Nene never jumped bad at besides Kenya. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Because she know who to play with and who not to play with. And she know that would have been somebody like Candy. She knew Candy would have swung and hit her behind, red in her face where she deserved to be hit at. So, before Snake Gate, Kenya and Portia got into it about the friendship with um, Shamia. Did Kenya provoke Nene at the um last episode where the finale? Yes, she kind of did, Kenya, but that's you. We learned to love you or hate it, but 
they sat there and argued and argued and argued about that. Can't, I mean, Portia still calling Kenya the B-word. Um, Poor little Ben and his sensitive ears. If it weren't for Ben, they probably would have still been up there arguing. And we probably would have ended up with a part four. So, that little whole waste of energy right there between um Kenya and um, Portia about the provoking and was she wrong and... Here go Marlo breaking up Ken Fields, Portia, um, who else she provoked. Like, it was just a waste of time. That's why I ain't really say nothing about it. But I decided, oh, well, I might as well say something before, before Snake Gate opened up. And now we feel to open up Snake Gate, and that's all I'm talking about. Oh, heck nah. Um, Yavonna, I don't know if I believe you or not. I'm going to need some old, you know, some receipts of this. I believe you somewhat because that sounds like Nene attacking her lawyers on people. Um, do I think Nene petty enough to have somebody call your phone and send you emails and text messages? I think Nene can do that. Well, you know what? I think this could be Nene, and yeah, she kind of threw you under the bus when in Toronto, and y'all kind of not friends, and you a snake also for recording Cynthia, even though Cynthia should have known better not to be talking to, talking about Nene like a dog when she around one of her friends. So, ooh, Yavonna. You might become my favorite, even though I don't like you. You might become one of my favorites, and you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it sounds like Nene. Absolutely, 100. It sounds like Nene. Sick of your lawyers on you. Got somebody playing on your phone. Got somebody text messaging you. Got somebody emailing you. It sounds like Nene. 1,000%. It sounds like Nene. So basically, Yovana, you was a yes man, just like um, what's the girl name? Sh Sh not Shamar. Um, Sh not Sharae. What's the girl name? So basically, you are flunky, the Nini, just like um, the little thing up there the, that got her nephews. Now you basically are uh, um her all over again. That's basically what you admitting to. You got cool with the girls. You were started hanging around the girls. She wasn't hanging around the girls because most of them couldn't stand her behind throughout the season until she decided to go on this little fake, fake spiritual journey BS. And so you had open friendships. I get it. But that still don't make you no good. Because you was a flunky to our so-called supposed to be friend going around seeing who going to talk about Nene and going back reporting to her. So you was a yes man, an unpaid worker, a flunky, an understudy, and Nene was the queen. Mm -hmm. I guess you liked it, your job, I'm guessing, because I wouldn't have done none of that to Nene. Whatever they would have said to me, I would have kept it to myself. That's just me. But yeah, Yavonna, you was a flunky to Nene. Yes, you were. And she told you to record, and you said, okay, good friend, I'm recording. I got this one right here talking stuff about you. I got this one over here talking. How much space you got on your phone? Or did you have a separate phone? Uh, did you have a separate uh, phone that you know to record on? I just want to know how much iPhone storage or M Android storage you had on your phone. Did you have one of those old-fashioned recorders? I just want to know what type of form of recording you was calling yourself doing. Was your screen recording? What was going on here? Because that sounds like a lot of storage you not going to have. Record every single girl in every single conversation to find out who was going to say something about Nene. And you putting it in your purse or in your bra. You know what, Yovana? If you enjoyed your job, have fun at it. It wouldn't have been me and it couldn't have been me. Just like, well, y'all will carry lies anyway. It's like, let's say I said Nene Mama stank. You probably would have went and twist that story and said, I said I wish um I would have, you know, spit on Nene Mama grave. So, y'all, so you know what? With the recording thing, 
it's best to record if you're going to take a, you know, a message to somebody besides adding your little spin and twist to it. So I kind of get the recording thing. It's still wrong, but I get the recording thing because okay, none of y'all on these shows, none of y'all, I repeat, take back an actual bone that came out of the person's mouth and take back to the, uh, well, take back to the person that was meant to without adding your own lingo and language to it. So I kind of get the recording thing why Nini will tell her to record because she wanted to ask to, well, um, T, not something you just came out of your head and say, oh, Candy said, if I see you, I'm going to slap the fire out of you or as soon as I see you, I'm going to knock you in your head. So, I kind of get the recording thing. Yavana, you might have lost friendship with these girls now. The love bond you might have had with these girls is now gone because you decided to record them for Nene and be Nene love flunky understudy. So just know that you still out with these girls. Just because you're telling your truth today don't mean that they're going to trust you again because you kind of violated their trust. They thought that you was a person they can talk to and won't judge them, won't record them, won't go back and tell the actual person that they're talking about. So you didn't ruin that, Yvonne. I hope you enjoyed your friendships with them. It ain't no coming back for that. How can they trust you again? You might be recording them for, you know, um... I can't think of that girl name for the world. I'm going to have to Google her name to figure that little lady name. You might be one of, um, it ain't sure right. Darn, I can't forget, remember her name. Oh, so now you take responsibility. She was thirsty to know information. You told her you recorded, but you didn't record. We don't know if we still can trust you, um, Yavana. And her name is Marlo. So, you best live Marlo. Just with a Y yo now. Okay. But, just cause you say that don't mean they're gonna trust you that she was thirsty and pressed for information. You pretended like you had this information, but she said she had an actual recording of you, so, Yvonne, you lying. You lying. And you write about that, Cynthia. If there was an actual recording, it would have been played Nene would have never let it go. So, yes, I believe Yovana didn't record, but Marlo throwing you under the bus to protect her best friend, Nene, her bestie. So, now she's trying to make you to be out to be out, make you be out to be a liar. And then on top of it, you want us to believe that you never recorded those girls, but Marlo said that's a lie. Now you saying that. Um, well, um, Tanya said, how can we, um, you know, trust you even though you said that you didn't do it, but you was trying to protect Nene. Now you're no longer trying to protect Nene. Now Nene basically got her friends calling and harassing you. So now you on here to spill information. Yavonna. You could have saved it. Like, at this point, I'm dying to hear what you got to say at this point because we ain't heard for you since Toronto. So, I am kind of want to hear this story, but it sounds like a whole lot of BS to me. And I don't know how long I'm going to sit here and take you in your BS because I don't know if you lying to me or te telling me the truth at this point. And I really don't care at this point. So, we just going to leave it at that and see how this play out. So, now she's trying to say... Portia, look, I know y'all don't believe me. I know y'all probably think I'm lying or whatever. But look, you might want to make sure and confirm that you're on the right team. Because I heard some information. And if you want to hear me over, you know, an email, a text, give me your number before I can tell you this information. Besides saying it out loud, you still... Yavonna, I don't believe you at this point. At this point, you're just wasting time and air at this point. You came on late. You came at the reunion when you should have been wide open, found somebody to spend the um the um film with to put this out. It's like it's too late and it's too well, it ain't too soon. It's just like it's too late. Nobody cares at this point. And whatever you saying, it might be true, but who cares at this point? So Yavana, your story kind of falling on deaf ears and people literally falling asleep on you because we don't care anymore. This happened during the show. We at the reunion now. You waited all this time to finally spill this. So we don't care, Yavana, at all. 
all all pipe down, Cynthia. At this point, how many reunions have Nene then abused you? At this point, you ought to be norm to it. You ought to be used to it. You ought to learn how to take it like a lady at this point. Now you saying that if none of this is true, how come Nene ain't here to defend herself, to expose you back? I'm saying all I need to see, rap him, that Nene not here to defend herself. Cynthia, Let's not go back to the faller and the flunky again and you can't think for yourself. Because that sounds like somebody that put that in your head. Cynthia, cut it out. Just cut it all the way to off. Cut it out. Cut it out. So basically the show ended with what if, if, what if it with Yuvana. Um, basically they said they don't trust her, trust her. Candy like, I don't trust people, you know, well, she said, I don't trust people, you know, right away, I make them earn my trust. Hun, you know, um, Candy got into it for a few minutes, then they stopped. Um, Nene called Porsche, I ain't get to see all that, cause my DVR, you, it reset it on me. So, other than that, that's about all that happened. This was a good reunion. Um, the season was all right, but this was a good season. Um, hopefully, you know, they bring it next season because this season was, it was all right, but the reunion, it was worth it, though. I must say that the reunion was all the way worth it, and I enjoyed doing it, especially these three parts. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.